In the previous video, I introduced pi and how to find the circumference of a circle. In this video, I'm going to look at finding the area. So trying to find this area that is inside the circle. So I've introduced pi as being 3.14159264, this irrational number that keeps on going on and on and on forever. And it is also used in trying to find the area of a circle. The formula for this is given by pi r squared. And what this means is we're multiplying pi by the radius squared. So we've got to square the radius first, then multiply it by pi. There's only one formula to learn, pi r squared. That's all you need to know. So for this circle, if I want to find the area, then I multiply pi by the radius squared. And if the radius is 9, then that's 9 squared. So we find the pi button. So that's, remember, on a Casio, right down the bottom, times 10 to the x, you'll see it, and pi is the little yellow bit above. Okay, so shift, then that button, times by 9 squared. Remember the squared button is the x squared. Looks like this. Equals, now you should get 81 pi arriving on your calculator. So then press the SD button and you'll find you get 254.469. Now, that's the three decimal places. Now, units wise, beforehand, it would have been because we look at circumference, it was looking at length, so centimeters. But for area, you'll be looking at centimeters squared. So three decimal places. So the units now is centimetres squared because we're looking at area, while circumference is a length, so we just look at centimetres. And that's how you can find the area of a circle. You just need pi and the radius and you'll be there.